Hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle so for today's video I am going to be doing a closet declutter closet reorganization closet refresh just everything to do with clearing out cleaning and reorganizing my closet now I have done one of these videos before I think that was about a year ago at this point so I'm definitely due to do one of these again it's been a minute since I've gone through and just had a look at everything figured out what I want what I don't want what I need to keep what I don't need to keep so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today is just cleaning reorganizing and refreshing my closet now I'm very lucky with what I do that I do receive a lot of pieces of clothing but in saying that I was putting away my laundry the other day and I realized that I just don't have any more hanger space. Like I don't have any more hangers and I don't want to buy more and just add to it and try and squeeze things in there. So I figured that it was time for me to downsize. So when saying that, I did bring in a clothing rack just so I have something to put all of the clothes that I don't want to keep on. I am also going to be going through and showing you guys how I set everything up, how I keep everything categorized, organized, how I fold things, all of that. So if that's the kind of thing that you guys are interested in, keep on watching. And if you do enjoy this video or you find it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So with all that being said, I guess all that's left to do is to head on into my closet and get started. All right, you guys. So before I get started with pulling everything out of my closet, I figured that I should probably show you guys how my setup currently is and just show you what we are working with. So if you haven't seen it before, this is my closet space. But if we open it up, this is... Oh my gosh, even looking at this, I'm like... No, it's so crazy. It's just a lot for me right now. Um, so yeah, there are like there is a little bit of organization going on. Say hi to my baby Yodas. <laughs> but it just got to a point where yeah, I ran out of hangers. I've got some clean laundry there, which I'm so sorry that that's like that. I have like books behind here as well, which I'm gonna take out and put away properly. Handbags, belts, hats, I'm gonna move everything out of here because it is just too crowded for me. Up the top I do keep all of my shoes which they have kind of overgrown and grown out of this current situation that I have going on but in saying that I did get myself, well actually I already had a spare shoe rack from when I first did this closet declutter a year ago. I just never used it but since I need more storage it's kind of good that I still have it. So yeah this is the first section and then I do have Ikea mom dresser drawers which these aren't too bad. I have like compartments in there to organize. This one I'm gonna add compartments to as well just to keep my pajamas more together and then yeah all my workout stuff is down here things just need to be like gone through and refolded and just put away nicely so that is the first section and then for the next part it is once again similar this one is very full though i'm really surprised that this hasn't like broken down like there's a very strong bar up there but i do have like somewhat of organization going on in terms of like color i've gone like light to dark type thing still needs to be properly organized but for the most part it's like the foundations are there and then down the bottom i have my laundry hamper which i did end up buying myself a new one just because that one's kind of falling apart and it's very heavy every time i have to go in and like take my laundry out it's just a lot to deal with so i'm gonna take that put that down in my laundry and just use this. Yeah, excited about my new laundry hamper. And then in here I have a bunch of storage boxes, some bags, some postage boxes from whenever I send parcels to Alan. This document folder is very important. This has like everything. If there's ever a fire, I would grab like my phone, laptop and probably this because this has like everything in it that I would need. And then at the top, I do have the storage boxes, which these are pretty nicely organized. However, I want to shift these Put them down there just so they're a little more easily like accessible it'll just clear out the space because to be honest i don't touch this stuff it's just sitting there for storage yeah that is my plan for the middle section and then for the third section kind of similar again 
with the dresser drawers here. These are actually pretty organized because I barely go into them. So I have like some workout crops here, some lingerie and some swimwear and such. And then these two drawers are just full of jeans. Also, I did get myself a step stool just because, you know, it's hard for me to reach the top sometimes. And then I did get another one of those drawer organizers from Ikea, which fit perfectly into these mom dresses. And then this is the extra shoe rack that I was telling you guys about earlier. So now that I have all of my new things down here, I'm pretty much ready to get started with this. Also, I'm going to be taking my suitcases out, which man, I thought I'd be getting a lot more use out of these in 2020, but here we are in 2021 and they haven't been used since 2019. So. <laughs> Yeah, there's that too. Okay, so now that I have shown you guys everything, I need to figure out my plan of attack. We'll go from there, I guess. All right, so first things first, I wanna take everything out of my closet, as in like all the junk and stuff that I don't wanna keep in there anymore. Not that my suitcases are junk, but they do need to come out. So that is my first step is to take the suitcases out, take the stuff out that was like in the middle here. And I think that's all for now. Oh, and also the stuff that was like in the first section on top of the dresser drawers. So I'm just gonna take all that stuff out and we're gonna start from scratch. So. Let's get started with that first. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform ya. out of here it is a little bit dusty so i'm gonna have to give this you know a little bit of a wipe down and dust but everything has been cleared out that i want to take out and yeah everything is out of the top here i'm gonna keep the shoes there for now just because i don't need to take them out just yet but for now what i think i need to do is just kind of wipe things down dust them a little bit oh also <laughs> As you can see, this is literally it. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that this came out of my closet. Like, I can't believe all of that was in there. It looks like a lot of stuff. I don't even know how it fit in there in the first place. Yeah, all of this stuff, I'm going to put the suitcases somewhere else. Actually, I'll put them in the closet in my office and then i'll kind of just go through and figure out like what needs to go into storage and whatever else um also books i have a lot of books and again i need to find like a good spot to keep these because yeah i don't think it was a very good spot keeping them there in the closet Whew, that has me out of breath so yeah like i said for now i need to dust this down as you can see it is very dusty.
dusted the shelf up top and also like wiped down the dresser drawers but I also noticed that there's like a little bit of dust on the carpet and along the track for the doors so I'm gonna go ahead and where's my vacuum I'm gonna go ahead and quickly give that a little once over vacuum it and then I'm gonna go and wipe down the tracks as well so let me go and do that now that all the dust is gone everything's wiped down clean the tracks all of that good stuff so next up what I think I'm gonna do is tackle the clothing I'm pretty much just gonna do section by section because I feel like if I did like everything all in one go I'll probably get overwhelmed so I'm gonna like take all of these out put them onto my bed and then sort through and go through them all and pick like what goes back into the closet and what goes onto the rack but yeah anyways I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and get started with the sorting process. first section is looking as you can see I do have a lot of space in here so I might have to figure out whether I want to keep this whole section just for like all the white and cream type of clothing or if I want to add like more into it if that makes sense like progress it into like the nude kind of colors that I have as you guys can see the next section is pretty jam-packed so yeah I might have to figure out if I want to add like some of these colors onto the end of that white section but there is a lot to go through here so I better get started with
to make with the clothes. Bear in mind, this is only just my hanging clothes. Like I realized I still have to go through my drawers, but progress is progress. So, so far it's looking pretty good. I managed to get rid of a few things which are there. You guys can see the mess that's going on in my room right now. But yeah, like I said, I just finished with all of the hanging clothes. So let me quickly show you guys how that's looking. So I ended up grouping together like all of my whites into like nude neutral kind of tones, which I think fills up the space nicely. And then for the second part of my closet, I put like all the other colors. So like from yellow, red, pink, blue, gray, black, all of that. And then my coats and such like cardigans all of that i pretty much kept the same i just reorganized them in terms of color so it goes from like white to cream nude one random <laughs> red hoodie there and then a green and denim and black so that's all good another tip as well my pet peeve with this is when like certain pieces are longer than others which is obviously like inevitable but where's an example that I can show you guys? I had a dress in here. Oh, okay, yeah, this one right here, right? Like this is actually quite long, but what I do with my longer dresses is I will just kind of take it, fold it in half over itself, and then put it onto the hanger so then it's not like awkwardly dropping down and there's not like one dress that's like an awkward length, if that makes sense. So I'm happy with that. I'm glad that the space is looking all nice and clean i might have to go back through and kind of color coordinate everything a little bit better but for the most part it's looking pretty good and like i said there's a bunch of clothes over there that i have gotten rid of now my next task i was going to do the drawers but i really want to start working on the top shelf which means that i need to take all of these shoes out however i don't think i'm going to take them out I'm just gonna leave them there but what i need to do is actually put this together just so i can have another shoe rack up there so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now some gaps which is good because it means I have space and room to expand if I ever want to buy more shoes but yeah I have most of my like sneakers on this side and then like it goes to heels over here but the ones like the sneakers that I reach for most are obviously lower down and like I said this is where the heels are kept these boots they're actually quite tall so they don't like fit in the actual rack themselves so they're just gonna have to like sit there for now i guess and then i have a pair of thigh high boots over there which are actually stuffed with newspaper just to make them stand upright so yeah those are the shoes done next up i think i want to do the 
area under here just because I want to put away some of this stuff but just to start with I am going to go ahead and build my new little laundry hamper that's gonna go over there I think it's gonna fit it should fit and then the boxes like the storage boxes will go on this side about the laundry hamper is the fact that it has this thing at the front which is just so much easier for when I'm putting my laundry away. I just prefer to have my laundry hamper in the closet just so it's out of the way, it's not taking up space in my bathroom or in my bedroom and it's nice and enclosed as well because obviously you know dirty clothes but they're all contained in there and I just think yeah it's a lot easier with this thing so I'm happy with that. And then these storage boxes, I've had these for years and as you can see there are like little label tabs on them. So I've got hats, bags, tech, which is just like, you know, random cords and stuff and like iPhone boxes that we just choose not to throw away. All of that is in there and then this is just like miscellaneous stuff that I like need. Right now, what I need to do is I need to put away my hats. These are my current like rotation of hats that I wear. I also have a bunch of belts that I need to sort through and also figure out what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. I'm probably just going to throw these in the same box as the hats. And then I also need to go through and put my bags away as well, like figure out what the bags are doing. I need to also put this in the other closet in my office. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of that done now. You don't need to worry. I mean everything I said, you don't have to search no more Love is all around, so baby what's your hurry? You don't have to prove us to anyone You don't need to worry remember exactly what I last showed you guys but I'm pretty much done with everything when it comes to like the hanging shelving storage all of that also look at this I cleared it all of the stuff that was here has been put away I put the suitcases in the closet in my office I threw a lot of stuff out and just organized and put a lot of it away as well. So yeah, like I last showed you guys, this section is looking pretty good. I also put some things up here. I didn't really know how else to store that, so it's kind of just sitting up there for the time being. But I managed to find one of these, like this was folded and collapsed inside one of the other storage boxes. So don't know how I got an extra one, but I do. So in there, I just put a couple of extra miscellaneous bits and pieces and then this one has all of the books that I showed you guys so all of those books are in there all that's really left to do now like the final stretch is to do the drawers I did mention earlier that these are pretty organized for the most part but I just need to kind of go through and tidy them up a little bit and I want to also add some organizers to this drawer this is my pajama drawer and because I have a lot of like you know, like those like satin type, they kind of slip around and such, so I'd rather just have them in little drawer dividers like these. So yeah, I kind of need to go through and tidy these up as well. So I've got like 
black socks, sports socks, like ankle socks and such. These little booty bands, I didn't know where else to put them, so they kind of just chill here. I have my bras, which reminds me, like looking at how empty that part is, I need to do my laundry. And then I have like sticky bras and more socks and then underwear. So yeah, everything's pretty like organized for the most part. I just need to kind of go through and like refresh everything. Also, <laughs> this is my little tip to making sure that my clothes smell fresh. I love like fresh out the laundry type of smell. And I don't know, I just feel like laundry when they're like kept in drawers, they don't really hold the scent long. So I just have a bunch of these like in each drawer. I have them in my linen cupboard as well. And I just feel like it keeps my clothes like smelling good. So that's my little tip for that. But yeah, for the time being, I think I'm going to start off by putting this together. It's really easy. I'm going to put that together, get the drawers organized, and then we will finally be done. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me, we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high. One thing that I just realized with these drawer dividers is they are not like the ones that I had before. They're very similar, but they're different because there's still like six drawer dividers. But as you can see with this one, it fits perfect, right? Like there's no gaps, nothing like that. But because they've given like two of these small ones, this is supposed to be like a long one as well. Do you know what I mean? So it kind of would fit like that and then there'd be like another long one, but that is not the case. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm going to do this because you guys already know <laughs> the way that I look at things, that's gonna bug me, but I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. So let's see how this turns out. So tell me where we on the day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. You'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could move on We could do it all night Cook collected, but you pushing on my nerves And I'm knowing your attention, I'm under pressure Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said Got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless Long as you know, I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dress it Gone flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weathered We fight retreating, then fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends Know you can't, I'm out here Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go on We could go on
Okay, so it is now time for the big reveal. Also, I just think it's so funny how my bedroom was completely clean this morning. And now it's like the opposite of that. Like I need to clean my room after this, but at least my closet is clean and organized. So with that being said, let's see how it looks. All right, so this is the first section. As you can see, it starts from light, goes progressively darker all the way through. So I did end up adding like my beige nude cream whatever you want to call it i added that to this section i feel like yeah it looks nice i'm not gonna end up using like this bench top space as like a place to keep things like i did before and i just feel like it looks so much more clean and organized which i am very happy about now in terms of like organizing everything i don't have like a specific way to do it it's like you know singlets tanks short sleeve and progressively like long sleeve but in saying that there's no like special way that i do it i mean yeah it's not like completely perfect but for the most part i think it looks pretty good and then at the top here as you guys would have seen we have all of my shoes which i'm very happy with i'm so happy that i ended up adding in that extra shoe rack over there which you guys will see when i open up the next section but yeah, it looks really good. Everything has a place, which is nice, and I still have room to grow if I do end up getting another pair of sneakers or something. But yeah, that is how that is looking. And then in these drawers, nothing too much has changed in the top one. This one stays pretty organized all the time, so there's not much to worry about with that. But this one, the pajama drawer, I ended up figuring it out. So I said that I had like missed a spot here i felt like they should have given me another one of these like long compartments instead they just gave like two of these smaller ones which is fine i ended up finding a spot here i just keep like bike shorts here or like little short shorts here black ones so that worked out well but we've got like my long pajama pants my little short pajama pants like satin dresses that i sleep in and my satin pajama sets and then we have some sleeping t-shirts and then some more pajama sets like ones with sleeves so i'm very happy with how that turned out and then in the bottom here we have workout stuff so like hoodies leggings all that good stuff i tried to like color coordinate it as best i could as well and then moving on to the next section we have the rest of my colors which i probably need to go through and like properly sort through everything but for the most part it is fairly color coordinated and then at the top we have some more like sneakers and then this rack is mainly heels i don't really wear heels that much so they kind of just chill in there, but we do have the boots. I did mention before that they don't actually fit in the actual space for the shoes. So they kind of just chill at the front there, which is totally fine. But yeah, really happy with how that turned out. And I'm even more happy with how this section turned out because this looks like a mess before. Like there was just stuff on stuff in here. So I'm really happy that I was able to bring these boxes down from up there they used to be up there put them down here and they just look so much more organized and are like easily accessible which is great so you guys can already see the labels we've got hats bags tech which is like cords and stuff and then miscellaneous and then my new little laundry hamper which i'm very excited about and i just love how everything's matching now like i feel like it just looks so pleasing to my eye how everything is of that like same kind of black canvas material which is good so that is the middle section and then for the third and final section this is how it's looking up top here i already spoke about this earlier but you know just some more extra storage boxes and such and then these are pretty much all like more heavy duty pieces like coats hoodies that kind of thing i feel like sometimes it's easier to hang hoodies because they can be a little bit bulky and they take up so much room in a drawer and it's just a lot easier to hang them and then in the drawers we have some bikinis lingerie my workout crops and such and then in this one i did manage to declutter this a little bit i got rid of a fair few pairs of jeans so now I can actually open the drawer and then same with this bottom one as well. So yeah, you guys, that is pretty much everything done. I am so pleased with how it all turned out. Of course, if you guys have any like suggestions or recommendations for me, 
as to how I can kind of improve this or whether I should do something differently, please comment down below and let me know. I love organizing. If anybody knows me, you would know that I do love an organized and clean space. So if you guys have any tips and tricks for me, comment down below and let me know. I feel so good now that I finally got that done. That's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. It was definitely long overdue and I'm so glad that I took the time to do it today. So thank you to those of you guys who watched the whole thing. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. And if you have any tips and tricks as to how you think I could improve this, or if you think I should do something a certain way or add or take away something, comment down below and let me know. If any of you guys know me, you know that I am a big fan of organizations. So yeah, I'm always down to learn new things. If you guys have any suggestions, comment down below and let me know. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up like it before you leave it i really hope that i was able to inspire you or motivate you to perhaps get into cleaning and organizing your own closet and as always i hope you guys are having an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world i hope you're staying safe looking after yourselves and looking out for each other i will talk to you guys in the comments and i'll see you all in my next video